Alright. I don't know how I didn't think of that, or why no one said anything yet, or maybe I missed it if someone said something about this, but remember this this room here, where the two... What are they called? I could look up their names right now, but the two bugs that, that are basically throwing little bugs and are spitting the orange goo. The, the little, little re... Am I stuttering now? The little arena here. <laughs> um, I don't know why I didn't think of that, but I can I can go to the right here. Did I do this before? Because it, it seems... Like I didn't, basically. This seems like a like a new area. And now that I can wall jump, I can explore that area. It's been a while since I got that ability, so I guess I could have done this a long, long time ago. And the only reason why I'm here is there's a mark on my map and I can hear a sad fucking rub. Here we go. Guess I didn't do this before. Look at this down there, there's a grub. Oh, Jesus. Why didn't I do this? Ooh. Oh, I ran into that one. Well, whatever. I got it. Welcome back to Hollow Knight. I'm pretty sure this is a new episode. Um, again, I'm kind of cleaning up stuff. I'm going to zones I've actually explored already, but I'm trying to find everything I'm still missing. Oh, this seems like... Yeah, that's a big drop. That's a big drop. We're not gonna go there yet. So I'm, I'm trying to basically fully clear every fucking zone since this is how I play video games. I can't rest until I've explored everything. Wait a second, this is screen transition. What the hell? Is there more to this? I can hear something. The Howling Cliffs! Oh my god, this is actually a new area altogether? Oh, look! Amazing. I needed those. I need a lot. Gimme, gimme, gimme. How, how many did you want? A hundred? Was it a hundred? Might have been more. How did I not find this zone before? It's really the only way to get this. Is it... Is, oh god. Is it... Going that obscure way that I've just found? Or is there another way into this zone? Because these enemies seem kind of... Oh, I screwed up that jump. They seem kind of starting zone, don't they? Look at this. This is a secret wall if I've ever seen one. And this is a law object. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. These blasted plains stretch never-ending. There is no world beyond. Those foolish enough to traverse this void must pay the toll. And relinquish the precious mind this kingdom grants. Does this mean I have to go crazy? Because I'd be up for that. Oh. Oh. A wondrous journal and another broken wall and to the left what looks like a shortcut above the soul penis. Oh. Okay. Another screen transition? Where are we going here? I could really use a goddamn... Oh, this looks bad. This looks bad. This looks like a boss arena. I'm gonna go there later. <laughs> I could really use a bench now, since the last time I sat down at a bench was a long, long time ago. I can still remember. Yeah, these are definitely starting enemies. Oh crap, do I have to hit the tree again? Oh man, having the gathering swarm thing on while hitting these deposits. Very good. So what's actually below me? Just nothingness, basically. Oh? A king's idol? Yet another new... new item? Let's take a look. Or maybe it's a... maybe it's a charm? No, no, it's it's one of these. A white idol depicting the King of Hallowness. The elusive king was worshipped through these idols. Relic from Hallowness past, this item now holds little value except for those dedicated to the kingdom's history. I really need to get to the relic um, dude and sell all of them. And then I, I think... Oh, look. Oh, it's pushing me back. I guess, I guess that's the end of the game. It's basically, it's outside, apparently. And... A hard cut. 
or rather a soft cut. Anyway, I, I really need to sell all these relics and then I think I have enough geo for the Luma Fly Lantern. Which I desperately need. Oh, I missed that. I'm so glad there's no fall damage in this game. I don't know, are there any plat platformers with fall damage? Because that would be hard. There must be, obviously. Don't you, don't you dare. How dare you? <laughs> Swear to God. Who? Sometimes the knockback can be quite dangerous. <laughs> but I think I'm getting the hang of uh, jumping and dashing at least. I didn't drop all the way. Were there any more up here? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. No, 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 oh, no, no. Still, not all the way. I don't know what I'm trying to do, by the way. Every time I fall, I'm, I'm trying to, to hit another platform, but I just can't commit to a single one, so I'm missing all of them. Uh, like this now. I should just do it like that, you know. Oh, Conifer! Nice to see you. To see you nice. This is a pretty big area. Pretty big zone. <laughs> No, with a screen transition as well. Enjoy the bracing air? We're quite close to Halonas borders and those desolate plains that surround it. In this direction, I'm about as far as I'm willing to go, though it's been pl a pleasant change from the tight confines of the caverns. I agree. I've drawn out a small map for the area. It's a simple one, and more for completion really. Not knowing the full extent of a region can be quite frustrating, so I guess you could get here very early. Yes, I'm gonna buy that. I have more than enough Geo anyway. Okay. Uh, apparently there's a bench to the right somewhere, but... It's connected to Dirt... Wait, could I have gone here by just going left in dirt mouth? dirt mouth? Again, whatever you may want to call it. I know I'm weird, I'm calling it Dirt Myth. But... Oh, crap, I fucked that one up. Okay. Ah, oh, crap, that's such a weird spot. You can't quite make the jump like that. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Gonna have to do this differently. Maybe there's a way up here. Yeah, yeah, okay, there is. Okay. Let's get the stuff on the right first then. But I'm pretty sure there are some jumps here that you wouldn't be able to make without either wall climbing or dashing, so... Guess I hit that at the right time, this zone. I assume that, yeah, this is the way to the bench. I don't want to go there, though, since I, I would have to go down and activate the tree again. Okay, it's way easier to do it like that. And now we need to get this one, which means we have to climb back up again. Like this. Like this. Oh, oh crap, okay. Maybe I wanted to drop down though. Holy shit, with a screen as big as that, it's kind of hard to, to find out where you haven't gone yet, but... Okay, that's it, that's it. Let's take a look at the tree now. And then we climb back up. Um, rest at the bench and... Where was it even? It's over here somewhere. No? According to the map it should be above me. So we'll take rest at the bench and then... Oh, here it is, okay. It looks beautiful. I like it. And then we'll go all the other ways. I mean... 
This one apparently... It could be a boss fight still. It's only a closed room. It could still be a boss fight, so it might be worth to... To grab the bench first. I think that would make sense. Let's better be safe than sorry, right? It is a new zone for me after all. This is another... No, another... Transition above me. Oh, fuck. Anyway, let's just climb for now. Need to go around it. Oh, no, no, no. A little bit too ambitious, a little Hollow Knight. We need to go past Carnifer. Bye, Carnifer. Wait a second. Are you telling me anything? I chanced upon a strange bug atop these cliffs. His house isn't far from here. Oh, NPC incoming. A very imposing figure he was, and no doubt lethal with a nail. I suspect you two might share in common... Share more in common than I... Than him and I. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I butchered that one. Okay. Is he next to the bench, hopefully? Because I could be... Oh. Oh, no. Wait. This isn't where I should be going. The bench is above him. Bench is above him. But maybe... Maybe the strange bug is in the darkness. Who the heck knows? I certainly don't. You probably do, though. Wait a second. I have to climb even higher. Which means I have to go to the right here. Oh yeah, here we go. This is it. The lantern. And now it should be... Over here somewhere. Okay, there are some spikes. And... This one definitely you couldn't... Oh crap, am I gonna harvest another being? Uh, this one definitely you couldn't do without wall jumping, right? So anyway, let's listen to this ghost. <laughs> I am Gorp! Bow! Bow, 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 bow to Gorp! Great mind! I am Gorp! Ascent, 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 ascent with Gorp! Challenge the warrior dream. Fuck no. That sounds bad. Maybe... Maybe... Um, if I... If I find a bench and spend my geo, I don't know. Might not even be after that. Definitely, let me get my bench for this goal. <laughs> fucking, fucking goal. Um, is this the end of the world? Where the, where the hell is my bench? <laughs> I'm gonna drop down there in a second, don't you worry. Just wish there was some transport here so I could spend my geo first. Maybe I should have spent it at the start of the episode, but... I didn't know what else. Oh, come on. I would be finding here and. Oh. Enter. Seems like my bench is in here. And I, I wanted to save my money for for the, the lantern, you know? Because there's a lot of dark zones. I can't go there yet. Oh, wow, this is a nice bench. Oh, it drops down to dirt. Okay, we could be going like that, but can we climb back up or do I have to go all the way through? Oh. We have to go all the way through Green Path again. Oh, shit. Is this a boss fight? Dude, are you the NPC he spoke of or are you evil? It's a nail master, Mato. Hmm? Ah, well met. Yes, I thought I could sense the aura of a fierce warrior approaching. I'm impressed you found my sanctuary here at the top of the world. No doubt you've endured many trials and overcome many foes in your quest to find me. Possibly more than I should have. I should have found you early, I think. No, don't speak a word. I, Nail Master Mato, who was taught the art of the nail by the great nail sage himself, hereby accept you as my pupil. Let us begin the lesson immediately. Um. I assume I have to fight you. Yes, It's a nice little cutscene. Oh, wow! Okay, I just got it! Master the Cyclone Slash. Hold X to concentrate energy into the nail. Release the button while holding up or down to perform the Cyclone Slash. What? Thanks, yeah, Macho! Your form! Exquisite! Exquisite! Now I know how my own master felt when he passed down his teachings to us. I hope you don't mind me too... F you don't think me too forward when I say that I consider you to be my child. Yes, when I saw you perform my nail art, I felt a bond between us suddenly flash into existence. You honor me beyond words, my pupil. Thank you. Holy shit, he's quite thankful for being the teacher, you know. I should be the one groveling before him and saying thanks for teaching me this new technique. 
Bam. Finder. A bow down, Hollow Knight. Come on. Yeah, like that. A little bow. Thanks. Let's try this out. Huh? Okay. Wait, what if I... What, why was I supposed to look up or down? Okay, I can do it while jumping as well. Vamos. You honor me beyond words, my pupil. Thank you. Thank you. Anything in here? Any loot? Come on, I'm pretty sure you've hidden something. So let's take a look again. This has to be... Cyclone Slash. Release plus up. The signature nail of Nailmaster Mato. A spinning attack that rapidly strikes foes on all sides. Why would you... When would you ever do that? Does it deal more damage? Because it seems like... I don't know, does it hit several times in a row, maybe? Maybe there's some charms that will make it stronger. Release plus up. Huh? What, what's that about up? Do I have to press up before it? Or do I have to press up... Repeatedly? Or... Because I can just hold it. I don't understand, really. Oh, yeah, let's try it out somewhere. Anyway, thanks for everything, Mato. Do you think I can do... I can do the boss fight over there now? Or maybe I should just... Ex keep exploring over here. For now. How do we best try it out? Like, let's wait for him to come. Well, I can't really gauge the damage since they all die from one hit anyway. <laughs> That's a bad thing, so let's see. This is a this is a marker on my map. A warrior's grave. Are there any other warrior graves on my map? You'd think the resting grounds would have them. I don't know if I should fiddle around with that. It seems kinda hard to come here. Oh yeah, I can, I can, oh, I can go through King's Pass and then reach Dirtmouth again. You know what? We'll do just that. And if there's nothing interesting there, and I have to get back here, I'm gonna cut that out. But for now, we, we did a lot, I think. I mean, let's take a, let's take a def definitive look. We've cleared out this marker here, which is a big thing since we found a new area altogether. I was still missing this one, apparently, so... Oh, Geronimo. I don't think I can jump up here. And this is basically where I started the game, isn't it? King's Pass. Why is it dark, though? As if I hadn't explored it, really. Maybe there's a few things I can find here now that I couldn't go to before. Like this. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you among us. Focus your soul. Oh no. <laughs> I definitely read that one, right? It's been a while since I started this game, started this game but still. Oh yeah, baby. Temporary health. Which I'm gonna lose immediately, judging by how I've fared with the game so far. It's way too mean. Look. Oh, oh, okay. Pay attention. I couldn't have done this before, right? Except if you if you nail jump, but you don't know at the beginning, do you? This looks sinister. Let's read this first. Hey beings, these words are for you alone. Within our lands, do not hide your true form. Let all bask in your majesty, for only this kingdom could produce one such as you. So try to be yourself, basically. Don't be afraid to be yourself as well. Fury of the Fallen. Oh, it, it was definitely worth it coming here. This sounds amazing. Embodies the fury and heroism that comes upon those who are about to die. When close to death, the bearer's strength will increase. That sounds um, conditional. I'm not sure I like this. But it's another charm, right? And is this a secret here? Well, it's some Geo, at least. And now we're on the bottom of this thing again. Any other secrets, do you think? Maybe? 
Sometimes it's hard to tell with with the map. I mean, definitely you could tell that there was something over here. Something to the left? Like, what's here? Oh. Oh god, I can't believe I dashed into that one. I guess there was some Geo here. I think I even remember this one. Sounds like a fart sometimes when they die. So I think... I think that's it though. I th think... Instead of going over here, I have to go up now? Do I? Oh, can I make the jump? Oh, wait a second, look at this. <laughs> How did I not see this the first time? I mean, it's not a lot. Oh, I, I don't think I can make that jump. I, I don't know, is it... It's probably frustrating to watch. Every time I try to make these weird fucking jumps. Oh no, I, I won't bother with this anymore. I'm just gonna climb it over here. I think it's the same anyway, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, whatever, right? Whatever. What was this one saying? The land of king and creator step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the eternal kingdom. Hello, Nas. Who wrote these? Here we go. I guess I can't easily return to... to the fucking howling cliffs. Then again... You can jump back. Yeah, you, you can jump back, but for now I'm gonna obviously spend my money, right? Also, maybe there's a new dialogue here now that I honed my my blade skill master stuff. To reach the most travelers take circuitous routes around the cliffs beside her. Sorry, I think I'm having a, a little stroke. It's hard track now, but in the kingdom's prime, things were far simpler. There's an old pass in the cliffs that once allowed easy access. The bridge up to it has long since crumbled away, and even without it, a huge door bars entry. I can't complain, mind you. It's meant we've only ever had to accommodate a trickle of travelers, even during our busiest times. I wouldn't want hordes of bugs to descend to Dirtmouth. I like the quiet. Yeah, you like to have all these waifus for you. Oh, Sly, anything to sell? Jill. Oh, we're just shy of the simple key. Maybe I'll go down and buy one, uh, and and get some, get some geo, and then buy one. Um, anything new we can buy here with Bapanada girl? <sighs> Bapanada. No? Bapanada means we're out of supplies. Now we know. So let's go over here. Let's kill a few simple bugs. Up to nine fifty. Then we can spend uh, the geo. You know what? I'm probably gonna cut this here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ascend with Gorb. Challenge the warrior dream? Sure, I don't know what the fuck this is, but I'm assuming I have to fight him? Oh god, he makes some weird sounds. So far, so good. He has these weird telegraphs, telegraphed attacks that go in certain directions. Oh, okay, he's doing two now? Maybe I should have changed my setup, you know. Maybe I should have changed to my boss fight setup instead of my farming setup. And maybe I should shut up. That could also make it slightly easier, I guess. Oh. It's doing free now. It's getting harder to get ahead in here. Yeah, yeah, it's getting harder, definitely. Oh, especially with that contact damage. Ah, oh, fuck me! I just jumped into him like a like a idiot. Yeah, it's not really worth it healing when you take damage immediately again. How many will there be now? Four? No? Okay. Okay, I did it. <laughs> that was that was actually pretty easy, gotta say. Are you gonna give me your fucking souls now? 
I guess you only have a singular one, Gorb. I am Gorb, the great mind, the pain. Ascend, ascend. I am, I, I am dead. That's the sound you made, basically. Okay, Gorb. I guess you just gave me souls. Here lies Gorb, the great mind. Am I smarter now? Well, I guess sometimes it's not enough to just like gather the souls. Sometimes you have to fight for them. No one, or at least not a lot of bugs, will just willingly hand over their soul like the gravedigger dude did, right? So Gorb wanted to fight for it. And honestly, it was a pretty fun fight. It was very simple. But kind of challenging in its own way. So we're gonna continue here in, in the Howling Cliffs. Until there's nothing left here anymore that I can I can look at. But there's this little possibly boss room down there, which we're gonna check out next, and then the the big room to the right, where we can continue going to. Next to Corn. If Corn is still here, by the way. Jesus. So the way I did it, by the way, the way I came back here was um I spent my money in, in Dirtmouth. And wait a second. Did I read this one already? Yeah, there's no beyond, okay. Um, I spent my money and then I restarted. So I respawn at the bench I rested at here. Let's take a look here. Because I thought this would be a boss arena since it looks kind of big. Okay, this is the sound of a secret? Oh, hello? Inspect. The corpse of a large bug. She looks sad. Why is she dead? What happened? Is this the weapon here? It looks like a staff. Is there gonna be a boss in this room now? Because... This looks... I don't know. It looks like a fucking boss arena, doesn't it? What's the reason? What's the reasoning behind this room? Why is there a room here with just a corpse behind it? Can I somehow- oh, can I- can I, like, nail harvest her? Or soul harvest her? Did this do anything? There are red things floating around. Oh, yes! Baby, I'm so smart. After all, this thing is telling me. Um, can collect essence, remnants of wishes and dreams. So a remnant could be at a corpse, I guess? So what's that now? I guess I'm summoning a boss or something. Wait, this is lighting it up, isn't it? This this will be a fucking boss, I can tell. Okay, yeah, red fire never means good. Please just be an NPC. Please, not a boss. Please. What's going on, little Hollow Knight? Brace yourself. Wait, did I just revive her or something? No. But it played some music. Maybe my map can help me? What the fuck is this? Can I harvest it again? What am I doing here? Do I have to use my new technique? Maybe there will be something to the left now? Maybe I changed the world in a way I just don't know yet? What if I return? Is it still here? It's still here, still burning. Well, this is utterly confusing, isn't it? I can't jump on this wall. I can't go any higher than this, basically. I can't use it. There's nothing like inspect or something. I can't keep attacking it. I can't harvest her again. I can't inspect her anymore. Okay, I guess I did it. Whatever I was supposed to do here. I did it. It played some carnival music. Oh, watch me accidentally enable hard mode. Can I harvest you? You're dead as well. No. Okay, wait a second. Yeah, no, let's let's just let's just go down, I guess. Into the bigger room. Oh. Oh, Carnival. The one higher, aren't you? Is Cornifer a higher being as well? Am I like some kind of chosen one? Is Cornifer a chosen one? Because I'm, I'm gaining all these... Oh yeah, this was dark. 
I'm gaining all these abilities, but... I don't think I can go here yet, to be honest. It's a really large room. I guess there's some traps and stuff here. So, you know what this means. We have to mark this one on our map. Like... Like... This. But, you know what? I'm, I'm kind of keen on this room now. Mm -hmm. I will I will go down to um, to the City of Tears and I will sell all my sigils and stuff. Are they called sigils? You know what I mean? This, these history things? Yeah, the journals, seals and idols. And hopefully it will be enough geo to get the Lumafly Lantern. I assume the, the Lantern will just passively light up the area around me. So, see you in a bit when I, when I did that.